Welcome to Utah's Fly Corner. Today I'm going to show you how to tie one of my flies I call the Rubber Diamond Ducky. It's a pretty simple fly to tie. Uh, I used a bunch of different materials with it. Um, hook I got in the vise here is a Dotch, Dotchy 1560, number 16. The thread I'm going to be using is Uni, 8 dot and Tan. Let's start that right at the eye. Just going to run a layer of thread right down the shank. I keep the thread off to the side here. It helps force the wraps right next to each other. I'll just break it off there at the point. Now the tail and the body on it is a dyed mallard flank. Uh, it's dyed wood duck gold. Uh, obviously, you know, I've used quite a bit of the feather already, but take off about a, for a fly this size, about a dozen fibers or so. Don't be shy. Don't be shy with it. Just line the tips up fairly well. You want about two thirds of the shank for the tail. I hold it on my side, catch it in. When I pull the t thread tight, it's going to put it on top. Let me go one more time on top. That's the tail to tie it in. I lift up. I bring the thread forward quickly. Stop about there. The two thirds point. Now the rib is midge ice braves and root beer. Now what I do with the rib here, excuse my voice, I've been dealing with a cold lately. Um, I take a piece of the braid, and what you gotta, what you gotta do is you gotta just with your finger, with your fingernail, with your thumbnail, uh, just grab a piece of that and hold it and just undo the braid. Now this stuff's, uh, it'll never, you'll never get one strand out completely because it's actually fused together, the plastic in the brain. But what that's going to do is it's going to it's going to give you a, uh I like the way the rib is better uh with that. And plus it makes it uh very translucent. But then I just take a take the end, snip it, snip it neat. And just pinch and loop that on. Wrap that back. Right where you tied in the tail, and you let it go. Get these butts out of the way, and bring the thread back up to about the two thirds point. You want to leave plenty of room. Now with the tail, with the body material, I'm going to use this as the body material. <coughs> Excuse me. It's rather short, so I'm going to uh, put some hackle pliers on it. I could use the vise and uh, rotate it with the vise, but I'm just going to throw the hackle pliers on there. I could wrap it with just my hand, but my hand will get in the way of the camera. I'll just form a a little uh, body there. Would uh, lift up the butts, slip them off. Now the rib, just gonna bring, gonna pull it tight. I don't twist it at all. I just pull it tight, tight the braid. You get what about three to four wraps. Then I go around my thread once, bring my thread up, tight. Wrap it forward, tie it in, snip it off. Now the wing case, bring my thread back a little bit. And the wing case is uh, <coughs> diamond braid, black diamond braid, flat. And catch, pinch and loop, catch that in on the top. I don't like the way that went on. Get them butts out of there. 
It's soft loop. Soft loop tends to work better when you're looking to get something flat on the top, such as this. I'm going to wrap it back. I'm going to lift up, see where it's at. I want to bring it back. I don't want a sh real short wing case on it. I want a decent size one. So I'm actually going to bring it back to about halfway on that third rib there. That's about good. And I'm going to pinch these the butt ends here. I'm going to tie them in. Just don't want anybody longer than the eye. Wrap right down to the eye. Bring it back up. Tying it in nice and smooth. Just tidying up. I'm going to put the legs on. The legs are uh, fine rubber legs uh, in brown. She cut me a piece of rubber. Now, what I do to put the rubber legs on is I push it on to the thread and I pinch it around. So it's around like that. And then I just hold it where I want it, like so. And then I just tighten the thread up. If I'm pulling the thread towards me, and it's going to put those on that side. And then I bring this thread around, I pull this leg back, I tie that leg back. Bring this thread forward. And as I tie this one forward, I pinch it, I pull on it pretty good to get it tied in. I'm going to put the legs on my side. Cut myself off a leg. Thread back to the center. Do the same thing. Pinch it over the thread. And I pull the thread. As I wrap the thread around, I place it right in, right in place. I pull the leg on, pull on the leg tight. Bring it back. Leave them. Bring the thread forward again to about where you want to get these guys to stay. And leave them. And throw some thread wraps in there and get it nice and tight. Now for the thorax, I use uh, my UV high test blend. It's uh, a natural and synthetic blend I use. I make uh, it's like very similar to uh, a hair's ear blend. I don't want too much. Now I'm going to grab this leg over here. I'm going to lift him up out of the way so I can get a wrap going behind him. Same thing with that guy. Basically a figure eight wrap behind there. Need a little bit more dubbing. I'm going to come in front, lift these guys up, and come back behind. Should get into the middle there, and then right back forward. I'm going to bring some thread wraps in front, tidy up a bit. And then I'm going to pull the wing case over. Pull it over, hold it with this hand. Make sure it's nice and flat. Bring the thread over nice and tight on it. Two turns. I go two on the shank. That's fairly tied in. I'll lift it up. Real, get in there real close with them scissors. Helps to have really sharp scissors to get a nice, a nice uh, close, neat cut on this. Pull these legs in the back and start right down next to that hook eye and just build my thread up over those cut ends, forming a head. I can go right into whip finish. Lighten up. Snip my thread out of there. Excuse me. Now to tri trim the legs, what I do is I just sweep the rubber back. I don't pull on the rubber. I just sweep it back. I like to cut it about midway on the tail. Just 
get in there and snip. Now the back legs, these guys, what that does is it, uh, you want it so that when this leg goes back, this leg goes back and you put it, you can't, that you're unable to, the legs are unable to get caught in the hook band. Um, because with long rubber legs, what's going to happen is they're going to end up getting uh, caught in the hook band, and the and the legs just going to be bent, bent off to the side and back like that across the hook shank. And that's no good. So that's why it's good to have these back ones short. I mean, they they still got plenty of action to them. You no know doubt about that. You can leave the fly as is, but to make it uh, a little nicer. And uh, I've o I always do this with it, so I don't know if it works if it works uh, just as well with or without. What I have here is some bug bond. Uh, my loons in the drawer, so just using some bug bond, had it out. I'm just gonna get a nice little bead. Get a nice little bead over top of the diamond braid. That's really gonna it's gonna really make the diamond braid pop. Grab my UV light here. Grab the torch. Light her up. With UV resins, they all will cure within ten seconds. Um but if you really wanted to make them strong you really should leave the light on it for a lot longer. Um, I find that, you know, it doesn't hurt to do it for a good 40 to 40 seconds to a whole minute holding the light on there. Am I going to hold the light on there during the video for that long? No, I can hit it with the light some other time. But, that's basically the fly. UV diamond ducky. I use it as a I I, I designed and made it uh, to be used as a trailer fly. I trail behind a bigger stone fly, and uh, I was using it the other day, and it was uh, quite productive. Uh, the fish were uh, uh, gobbling it up pretty readily. Um, I'm up. Time up, fish them. You can sub out the uh, UV high test for just some uh, hairs of your dubbing if you want. I'm sure it'll work just as well. Um, but uh, this root beer, uh, root beer midge ice braid stuff is real nice stuff. I've been using it a lot lately on flies. Uh, it's a nice color. I like it. It's nice stuff. Right. That's the fly. I'm Johnny Utah. Check me out on my blog, www. Utah's Fly Corner dot com. Thanks for watching.